Hello everybody, it's Dave Neal, stand-up comic and host of Bachelor Nation News. In this video, we have Hannah Brown, former Bachelorette. She uh, won Dancing with the Stars. She's also Miss Alabama, Roll tied herself. Hannah Beast Brown is a Special Force champion. This happened a few days ago, but we gave you guys a chance to watch the finale of Special Forces on Fox, and now I'm going to get into it. Now, Hannah Brown proved she could outlast, outwit, outplay. No, wait, that's Survivor. She basically survived a grueling 12 days of a basic training type activities, which looked like a ton of fun, but don't get me wrong, there were some very scary things they had to do. Uh, they had to take a back dive out of a helicopter into the ocean. Beverly Mitchell did it, but she did it wrong. And, you know, Beverly Mitchell from 7th Heaven, and she uh, hurt her neck. And then there was people like Mike Piazza and um, uh, Anthony Scaramucci, uh, the old mooch, the guy who lasted three days as Trump's press secretary. Either way, Hannah Brown and Carly Lloyd were the winners. Uh, we're going to get into the story right now. I'm going to read a, a couple uh, paragraphs here for you. Share her interview on Fox and Friends and a few other uh, uh, interviews that she has done in the last couple days. The Bachelorette and Dancing with the Star winner Hannah Brown adds another reality title to her resume. Hannah Brown challenged herself as she's never done before on Special Forces World's Toughest Test. Now, mind you, and this is nothing against people that serve in the military. They're braver than I ever could be, and they put their life on their line, and I, I respect all that. But there is, and I shouldn't have said but, there is a sort of um, a military-industrial complex aspect to this show where, you know, like the, the U.S. military spends a lot of money so that they can promote um, uh, getting people to recruit and join a volunteer army. Uh, they, they, they spend money on N at NFL football games and they do all the, you know, all of that. And this kind of has that feeling where it's like sort of the sort, uh, you know, all the, all the good aspects of, uh, you know, what is, what is good, which is people challenging themselves to reach new heights and all that. Now, of course, um, whether or not people should be going, uh, you know, uh, into the army. It will, we'll put it this way. Uh, most people that uh, get recruited to go into the different uh, branches of the military are recruited from lower income um, schools. And that has nothing to do with this story. I'm just on a tangent here to say that, you know, I don't think people should uh, get, get into the military because it'll pay for their college, or which, by the way, would be a social program. A lot of people don't like social democracy, but then they're also like in the military, and the military is a social, socially funded through our taxpayer dollars. To, you know, you got the point. All right. Um, she's always finding a way to piss people off. The point is what I'm trying to say is that um, there is a sort of like... Um, torture porn that exists uh, when people watch these types of shows like how badly can you uh, subject yourselves to pain but in this case it's uh, it, it's in pursuit of trying to see if you have what it takes in a world that is rather comfortable. We live in this first, first world society where a lot of the people on the show what's very interesting is a lot of them even the former athletes they're millionaires they've they've got a cushioned uh, you know like they haven't tested themselves in years and it was a way for them to reinvigorate and reawaken the dragon well Hannah Beast has a level of conviction as uh, as a former beauty queen and former bachelorette where it's pretty impressive to see her not quit on herself when she really didn't need to I mean we saw other people quit on day two day three former Olympians and former Super Bowl you know whatever you know a lot of, a lot of people couldn't hack it Hannah Brown did so credit where it's due what I'm trying to say is that it's probably not an accurate representation of what military life is actually like but with all due respect to those that serve for our country and for others um, you know maybe maybe at least it shows an audience that uh, how tough it can be um, but when I say it's not like uh, actual serving, that's to give credit to the military members who put their life on the line, who you know serve overseas and whatnot. Uh, this is literally, they did this for 12 days or something like that. In the past, we've seen Hannah Brown all gussied up for her TV appearances on The Bachelorette and Dancing with the Stars, but for her return to reality TV after a more than three-year absence, she put elegance aside, getting down and dirty on Special Forces World's Toughest Test. And it paid off. Hannah and former professional soccer player Carly Lloyd walked away victorious as the winners of Special Forces, beating out the other 14 celebs who competed, including some very macho men. Now, of course, it wasn't like Hannah Brown was going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Damian Mandola, former 
Patriot and Super Bowl winner Daniel, you know, or or Mike Piazza. It's you know, it was, the challenges were designed in a way where you were sort of challenging yourself. A lot of them were like a pass fail challenge, and um, you know, which is good. It, it was nice. Um, uh, because if, if it was an arm wrestling contest, that's not a fair thing to do. You know what I mean? But it was like everyone was for, was forced to come out of their comfort zone. I have let fear win in the past, but I'm so much more confident, Hannah said at the conclusion of the finale. I'm just really proud to be standing here making it to the end, but I cannot wait to have a real shower and wash my hair. So the other the other uh, contestants, Danny Amendola, Mel B, Hannah Brown, Tyler, Florence, uh, Kate Gosling, Dwight Howard, Montel Jordan, Gus Kenworthy, you guys remember Gus Kenworthy was in Colton Underwood's show on Netflix. And I have to say, Gus Kenworthy did not come out looking good on this at all. I mean, let, let me know. What do you guys think? He he kind of was like talking a lot of trash and he was a very prissy, to use to use a strange word. Ke- Gus Kenworthy came up very prissy on this show. Um, but uh, either way, Dr. Drew Pinsky had to leave early because I think uh, asthma or, no, he died dehydration. Jamie Lynn Spears was an absolute mess. But, you know, people, you know, they all had to deal with their inner demons. Um, she said, I haven't been on a television in a while, so anything that I was going to do moving forward, I wanted it to be something that really makes sense of where I am in my life right now. I have taken the time to work on myself and give myself time to really discover who I am and how I want to be become better special forces really aligned with that so i was excited but also of course terrified because i didn't know if i was really going to cut i was if i was really going to be cut out for it and i really didn't uh, feel like i was cut out for it once i got there um to, 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 so let's see what she had to say on fox and friends she went on fox and friends of course she was a uh, special forces a fox show so fox and friends makes sense let's see what she had to say former bachelorette win and winner of fox's brand new show it's a hit show special forces hannah brown joins us now congratulations thank you, you so su- much you actually did survive we're looking at you i know now. i'm here <laughs> all like all in one piece <laughs> aren't you glad to be home so glad. I mean, what did you say? You just want your bed? You just no, I said I just shower yeah. and to wash my to hair. Wash your hair. <laughs> and I had to wash my hair like five times to get the sand out. <laughs> um, yeah, it was. It was just 24/7 discomfort. I think that was the toughest part about the whole thing. Really proud of myself, but was really excited to have a nice warm bed and feel clean again. <laughs> okay, okay so, so let me ask you on that point. What is your reaction? What is your reflection now? Because these special forces guys don't get the shower, don't get the bed. They go out to the battlefield. Like, do you have a different appreciation for the military now? Absolutely. That was one thing that I really took away from the experience. Um, just what these people, men and women, do to serve our country and the type of life that they have to live. Like, it really is an act of service for our country, and we are so blessed to have people to to do that for us by the way i do want to say you know if there's any confusion out there and i don't think there should be because you guys know my father fought in vietnam and there's a huge respect for our service members the thing that i think we're allowed to be critical of is the people politicians that get us into senseless wars that get us into regime change wars that get us into wars because a country has oil and their dictators bad and it's like are they really you know those types of things like that where where uh, where our 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 fathers our brothers our sons are used as chess pieces in a uh, in a in a political war game where all the billionaires and the leaders are getting rich and wealthy off the you know the dick cheneys who you know, work for private military security groups and they're making tons of money or have investments in oil, you know, all that bullshit that exists out there. That's okay. It's okay for us to criticize that and leave room to uh, praise those that have fought for our country. Absolutely. And that was one thing they would tell us like true stories about what they've had to do. And they didn't show that as much on the show. But I wish they would have because that just gave me such a respect for the directing staff and for everyone that's in their same position. So when everything started, not many people probably were betting on you. You got Mike Piazza, you got uh, Dwight Howard's in there at the end. Danny Amendola, this still looks like he could play today or be special forces. You did this weird thing in the beginning. When you get nervous, you go, my problem is I smile. So they're screaming at you, trying to unnerve you, and you smile back. What was their reaction? Oh, they didn't like it. They did not <laughs> like it. They were like, well, are you smiling? I'm like, sorry, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't mean to. That was one of the things I knew I was going to struggle with. Um, but by the end, I wasn't smiling after that interrogation. I was so ready to be done. Um, 
but learning that Ten I knew. You could, we tell, have you could tell, though, at the end that they really loved you. And you had talked a lot about how your mom raised you and being raised in the South where you just are always positive and you smile mm -hmm. and you just get through it. But that actually helped you really in the show. Absolutely. I mean, I think um, the good and the bad that's happened in my life really actually helped prepare me to um, kind of found that, that state where like, I didn't have too high of highs or too low of lows. I just stayed really steady the whole time and tried to find the positive outlook of everything, and I think that helped me. When did you do it? Uh, it was 10 days long. Mm -hmm. uh, when were you actually done, and how long did you have to keep quiet with how this thing? So this um, process started at the end of May into early June, so that week. Um, so it's been definitely a a long time and then it's kind of so comical to hear all this talking it's like yeah we'll just stay for 10 days you know but either way there's there, there she's on fox news and also let's see what our good friend zachary reality had to ask her i haven't watched this clip yet but he was of course at the red carpet for special forces and here's what he had to ask hannah brown brown uh where do i even start with you uh i'm so excited i love the bachelor for so long but i'm excited to see you in a new environment yes this is very different uh, there's still some like tears, but mm -hmm. also like some blood and sweat. But blood it's, and sweat. Oh, this is intense. Yeah, really? but I am so excited for everybody yeah. to see it. It was such an amazing experience, but definitely the hardest thing I've ever done. Well, I'm saying like you've done pageants, you've done Dancing with the Stars, The Bachelor, you've competed in so many different ways, but this is very physical. So how do you prepare for that? Um, yeah, I, it, I was definitely a little apprehensive about doing this because I'm like, mm. I am not like an athlete. Like, it's like, how do you prepare for grown men yelling at you? She's like, well, I called Jake Pavelka and pretended that I was his girlfriend. Okay, that's a nice throwback joke for you guys. And then, of course, here's Hannah Brown. You can go to her Instagram and she answers Q. And any about Special Forces, we don't really need to share any more about it. But a big shout out and congratulations to what might be one of the most famous uh, uh, bachelorettes of all time. I guess that's object objectively true. I wonder if Caitlin Bristow will be on the next season of Special Forces. They're, they're pretty much neck and neck with, the, with each other as far as the accolades they've received from the show. Let me know, did you watch it? I know if you're watching this now, you go, well, this is a spoiler. You know, the, uh, the we already, now I know she won. Why should I watch it? Well, I feel like it's the type of show where what, what they didn't talk about here that I like about the show and, and, and to be quite honest, I'm not going to peddle a show out of, I don't think it's interesting, except for Bachelor in Paradise. Uh, <laughs> I got to make that money. But what I really did like about it was the humanity that happened as the different celebrities all consoled each other and helped get each other across the finish line. Hannah Brown might have, quote unquote, won this thing by finishing, but really everyone who took part in it gained something from it and I think the audience gained something too in watching the struggle when we do live in a world that's very cushy and very safe and very protected to see people out there kind of um, having that all stripped away. It was kind of fun. It was fun to watch. Let me know what you guys think. Did you like it? Uh, more content coming your way after this. Don't forget to check out Bachelor Rush Hour every afternoon. All the Bachelor news that we don't get to in today's YouTube videos in podcast form. We'll see you guys later.